If you've come in from using the Canon M50, well, you already know that the battery life is not amazing. And of course, when you're using your Canon M50 in a studio setting, you do require a battery life that is, well, it's in it for the long haul. And those of you probably already know that there are dummy batteries available for the Canon M50. The Canon M50 takes the LPE12 battery and I've got a dummy battery here so it's also known as a DC coupler. This is a little battery here and we plug in the power source and the other part of this I plug into a power bank and then that way I've got battery life for an entire day or I've got battery life for many hours when I'm in my studio. Since upgrading to the new Canon R50, I have been looking for a similar solution. The Canon R50 takes the LPE17 battery and I have found this power bank and DC coupler on Amazon. And it seems to work quite well, with a but, and I'll get to that in a minute. And if you didn't know, the Canon R50 takes the LPE17 battery, and that is good for around 370 shots. And that equates to roughly just over 70 minutes of continuous video. Remembering that the Canon R50 has a recording limit of 60 minutes, and then you have to press the record button again to continue recording. So for an hour and 10 minutes you can record one video or one video session. But according to CIPA standards, CIPA standards, the LPE17 battery in this class is not fantastic. It is pretty ordinary in fact. Hence why I was looking for a dummy battery or a DC coupler solution. And this is the one that I found on Amazon. This will show up in your Canon R50 as the DRE18 battery. Now, we've had experience with that in the past with third-party aftermarket batteries that do report as being a DRE18 battery, and they do work in the Canon R50, or other cameras that do take the 7.3 volt DPE18 battery, or the LPE17 battery. Now, the dummy battery is only this bit. And the kit that I purchased came with a power brick. And the power brick that is included is rated from 100 volts to 240 volts, one amp maximum. And it outputs eight volts maximum at three amps. So it does push out a little bit of power. Probably more power than my power bank can actually provide. So this power adapter comes with a power brick. You need to have your camera plugged into mains power or be close to a mains power point at all times with this solution. If you're finding value in this information, please share this video with others. Give the video a thumbs up and even consider subscribing to the channel. It does really help and I really appreciate it. And Canon does make a DC coupler and that retails for around $30 to $45. And that is literally just for that bit, the wire and the dummy battery. And then you have to provide your own power brick on top of that. The Canon one retails for around $80 to $90. So all up, you're looking at around $135 for a power solution on your Canon R50. I found this one on Amazon and I'll put links in the description down below. This is not a sponsored video and this has the same specifications as the Canon version. Now the DC coupler solution is great if you are in a studio situation where you need to have more operational time of your camera. This could be used for streaming for instance. And an interesting point to note is the Canon R50 is not equipped to be a webcam straight out of the box. You have to change a few settings and then that function works. To enable the R50 to function as a webcam, we need to press the menu button. Go to the wrench tab, that's the yellow menu. Go to page four, item two, and choose USB connection app. And change this to video, calls, and streaming. And now this will allow you to see your Canon R50 as a camera that is available in the drop-down box of your streaming software or capture software. 
And with mains power, you can keep your camera on without the anxiety of the battery running out. Now I also do recommend that you purchase additional batteries so you're not caught short when you're out in the field. And I made a video on that using third-party aftermarket batteries that pop up in the menu system on the R50 as a DRE18 battery. I'll leave a little card for that just over here. And as I said, with this kit there is a but, and it's kind of a big one. With this particular kit, and I don't know if this is with all kits, you get a little bit of an electronic hum and a little bit of an electronic buzz. Now I'm using a couple of microphones up here out of sight and that hum, that electric hum, is transferred through those microphones. And right now I'm shooting on the Canon R50 and you may hear a little buzz. I'm not sound treating this clip. Is it from interference from the power adapter for the DC coupler? I don't know, it was something that I picked up a little bit earlier. So we'll have a listen and we'll see what's going on from there. I can clean up the sound in Final Cut Pro with voice isolation and hum removal. This dummy battery solution represents good value for money, but it is not a perfect solution. You will need to treat your sound with that hum in the background. And if you don't mind doing that, I recommend purchasing a dummy battery solution for your Canon R50 to increase your operational time. The R50 is an amazing camera. I love it and I think it represents great value with plenty of features to get the job done. It is perfect for YouTubers just starting out and it's perfect for YouTubers that really want to extend their capabilities with an amazing camera from Canon. Have a look at this video here where I name my top eight accessories that I recommend for use with the Canon R50. Thanks for watching. It's been great making this video for you.